Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic is on one never fail strategy that you can use when relationships get tough. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from our sponsors. One Never Fails Strategy for Tough Relationships, written and read by Kelly Bellari. Good sense makes one slow to anger, and it is his glory to overlook an offense. Proverbs 1911. I knew the person was baiting me into an argument. How was I supposed to stay calm, cool, and collected when they were attacking me like a bull in an arena? You need help. You have problems. Everyone's upset at you. Ah, with statement like these flying in my face, how could I not defend myself? How could I not get riled up? Arrows were flying a mile a minute. I didn't know what to think or what to do in the midst of this verbal onslaught. I remained cool under pressure for a time, thinking of the various times that Jesus was attacked, yet said nothing. Until the point that my mouth unloaded, I told the person everything they did wrong. So much for grace. Despite every impulse of the Holy Spirit within me telling me to hold my own, I, too, reacted in anger rather than responding in love. The second the words were out of my mouth, I knew I'd come to regret them. And I did. Later, I rehashed every word spoken. Proverbs 19.11 says, Good sense makes one slow to anger and It is his glory to overlook an offense. How do we actually see this verse through when in the moment, all we see is red? It is not easy, but I am rediscovering that one almost never fail way is to take your time. Wisdom is not rushed. It is never pressured. It is always patient and thoughtful. For me, this looks like not being baited by attacking words. While they may be coming at me like arrows in the night, I can respond by saying, thank you for sharing. I'd really like to take some time to process what you have to say. Can we come back together when we are both calm? Let me take two hours to think about this. During this time, I can pray, read God's word, and think through what was brought up. I can consider how Jesus acted. I can understand where their condemnation may be coming from. I can position my heart to be humble and kind. Have you ever noticed how wise people are slow to speak? Wisdom doesn't rush to conclusions and reactions. We never have to be pressured to respond. Love sets boundaries so it remains love and doesn't end up turning into wrath. Intersecting Life and Faith What triggers you to react rashly? How might Jesus call you to respond differently? What wrong beliefs, assumptions, or lies may be under your response? How might it benefit you to keep no records of wrong? Perhaps take a moment to pray that God would show you his heart for that person when the going gets tough. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.